Steve Gonzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. I want to talk to you guys about run form and the first step to improving your run form. I'm actually going to show you some videos here in a second. I'm going to wait here and make sure that everything is loaded because there's always this delay and I'm not sure how to make this thing completely work. But uh, so here's the deal. I was in the clinic today and this is the ripe time. And I want to tell you a story about a runner. Um, but this is the ripe time where I'm seeing so many people come in because they're injured and or they're looking to you know maximize their training. They want to have the best race possible in 2020 so a lot of people are training for those spring races and the cool thing that i could get to do with a lot of runners is i get to show them better ways to run and improve their run form and while i talk a lot about strength training and, and all training plans and all this stuff the cool thing about run form that you guys should know is that run form if you can dial it in you can get good at it you can improve it that whatever is best for you you can actually get faster without having to run more miles train harder because you're just going to save energy on every step but unfortunately most runners make this single mistake and it's part of the program we have coming up that i'm going to talk about which is the midfoot project where we teach runners how to fix this um, if you're interested in learning how to fix this we have a, the, the program is five weeks long you can go to midfootproject.com uh, to check that out but let me share this runner with you so the conversation i had with her was about her race photo she actually shared it with me i don't have it with me but it was a race photo that looks somewhat um like most of you know and it's she looked at she's like well it kind of looks like i'm walking and it doesn't look like i'm running I, I thought i looked different and a lot of times people think they look really great when they're running by a shop window and they get a little snapshot and uh Unfortunately, when we get some race photos, it tends to be a little bit different. So I want to show you a different runner. I have showed this runner in the past, but just talk you through this concept of midfoot striking because it is the first domino to improving your run form. The midfoot strike is where we always start with runners because it sets you up for a bunch of other things. There's really four categories of improving run form. This is the first category. So let me show you how most people run and then how we want to fix that because I think it'll help you guys visualize what you want to do with your running. And again, if you want help with this, go to midfootproject.com. All right, let me get my mouse all the way over here. Okay, so this is the runner I like to show, and this is how most people run. You look at it at fast view. If you're not used to watching people run, it can be a little tricky, but what I wanna do is I wanna take this and just show you the problem with this type of run form. So I'm gonna let her right leg swing through, and this is the point that I like to look at the most. And the main reason why, let's see if I can draw some arrows on here, is because of this, this leg here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just measure here, see if I can change some colors. Oh boy, I should, should plan this out a little bit better. So you can see how this leg is perfectly straight uh, or close to it. And the problem with that is it allows the ground to come up and the ground's gonna come up and it's going to be doing this driving force backwards. So if you think for a second on this back leg right back here, this leg is gonna be, it's generating all this force into the ground and it wants to take her up and move her forward. The trouble with this is that all this force down here that's getting pushed into the ground is getting stopped on this other side because of that overreaching. The ground reaction force is, is driving her backwards. It's not in the, the right spot and it causes a lot of breaking. So if I could figure out how to get rid of these drawings, there we go. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna transition runners away from this. And the reason, main reason why is because not only is it causing this breaking force, but it's also increasing the risk for injury. Just think for a second, if you were gonna jump and land, when you land, you always squat into it, right? And running is essentially controlled jumps over and over and over again. But when you land this way, just like this runner is, that's not it, there it is. When you land this way, you're taking maximum shock through the joints and it's slowing you down, but it's also increasing your risk for injury. So here's what we want to do instead. I'm going to show you how the foot should land. I'm just going to use the same runner so you get an idea of what this looks like. Again, there's a lot of things you can work on. Cadence, uh, knee drive, trunk rotation, arm position, all this stuff. This is always the first place we go and it's why it's the starting programs for our live trainings. Um, so let me show you how the foot should land and how that differs. If we can get this runner go ahead and click through a little bit and bring her through and just get her to this point now i know she came through already but what we try to do is get our runners to land as close as we can we're not too concerned about this foot position as much as we are of the knee position the more vertical this shin gets and instead of being out to the front what we get out of this is more of an upwards push of the ground rather than that backwards first push we saw before so what does this do for you it does a couple of things right out of the gate go ahead and grab this here you're going to start loading your quad you're going to load your hamstrings your calf your glutes up top you can't see them up here but you're going to catch yourself on the muscles 
And then it's gonna, the muscles act like springs and they launch you forward. They also are shock absorbers. So when you learn to run this way, you're gonna shock absorb better, you're going to break less. So the moral of the story is this, if you're gonna change anything about your running, the first thing to always attack for us is the midfoot strike. It sets up a lot of other things and truthfully, a lot of times it takes care of your cadence, it takes care of all these little things that a lot of people work on, but instead go after the one domino that's gonna knock a, bother, a bunch of other things down for you and that's really midfoot strike. So if you're a runner who's struggling you know, with sore knees or you wanna get faster but you don't have time to train more, I'm telling you run form is a great way to do that break less and break less so literally break and figuratively break less when in your running uh, take more force from one stride to the next it's all great stuff you don't have to train more to get faster and it's what we're going to be focusing on with the next batch of runners who are joining us for the midfoot project five weeks long if you want us to help you show you the drills and exercises and training to make this happen and so you don't get hurt or get confused go to midfootproject.com and uh, hopefully this helps you guys and kind of start visualizing what that good run form looks like. I'll show some other examples tomorrow to help you along the journey, okay? All right, everyone, hope everyone has a great night. I'm gonna go hang out for the rest of the night and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.